Hey everyone, this is Miss V from Hypothetically Speaking Gardener. Hope everybody's doing great. I just want to give you a quick, quick front yard garden tour just to show you what's going on in my front yard really quick. I'm out here pruning the cabbage so I can give it to the chickens. I want you to see how beautiful the cabbage look in the front yard garden bed, how my blueberries are waking up in the garden. The cabbage are absolutely gorgeous in the front yard garden bed. I got some onions in here. I got some herbs. I got some marigolds that went to sleep. But everything is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this beautiful cabbage. I got a rose tree that'll be woke shortly with Buddy. And got some lavender and two banana trees that went to sleep. Look how beautiful my blackberries. I apologize. Blueberry. Look at them. They're trying to wake up. And this is a beautiful pink lemonade berry. This will be my first year. I bought four of these. One at Lowe's and one at a nur four at a nursery. It was on sale. But look all of everything trying to wake up look how gorgeous that is so already check here berry bushes let me show you the other things that's growing in the garden and again this is in my front yard edible garden this bed i had corn in it last year had some squash in this bed and i got some potatoes just transplanted in the front we got some herbs 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 and herbs in these pots and rosemary the thyme to lavender, to sage, and to lemon thyme. <clears throat> we got some spearmint and peppermint in that bed, and we got some hibiscus, the basil leaves, and a marigold went to sleep, but in due time, all of this will be woke back up. We got some rosemary over here, more rosemary. We got one celery that survived the winter, another celery, and cats, I don't know what it was, was digging, but got some strawberries over there that survived the winter but everything is looking good I'm absolutely proud got some garlic that was gifted to me by a client by a client some hard neck I think she said big neck and this is cabbage I actually pick one that's one two three four look how big this cabbage is and five and I picked six and remember, this is in the front yard garden bit. I picked that one because I was curious. And it tasted so good. And that's, and I got some turnips that I moved around in the front. I came and picked, I think, like five of them. And they were really good. But look, I got turnips. These are so good. I, I, I think I had them when I was a kid. And I did enjoy them. But as an adult, they're actually yummy. So, And I had to space them out because... The seeds were so tiny when I threw them in here. When they start growing, everything was kind of stuck by each other. But if you look, those are turnips. <clears throat> I think it's a nice, pretty one over here. And more turnips. They get so big, like a orange size or golf ball. Depends on how big you want to pick them. But these are my front yard. Let me show you my peaches. They are absolutely waking up. Look at the peaches, ladies and gentlemen. Look at their budding. The peach tree. Look at her. She's budding. She's going to give me some baby girls. And give me some food to eat. And this is absolutely more peaches from last year. And I actually think I cut off 10 cuttings between both trees. And germinated in the backyard. It'll be my first time. And I'm doing it different than what I saw everybody else do. And I'm just experimenting. And when the seed of that produced me a tree, due to the fact I started a whole peach tree in the backyard from seed only. Now this time I'm taking it from the cutting and um, transplanted it in the soil. And I made sure that part, one of those or two of those was in the soil. So let's see what happens and um, look forward to the result of that. It's the other peach tree in the front yard that's looking absolutely gorgeous. Look at her. She's already busting out. Look at her. See that? That's gorgeous. Look at that. And last year, this tree, she started, but then she stopped. 
producing. This is another one. Look how gorgeous she is. So I have literally, it's over 100 peaches on this tree. You can actually see. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And then I have a a dwarf, what you call that, pomegranate tree that I found at a nursery last year. And this will be my first time enjoying her. And of course, got a trellis this. This is my blackberry, thorn blackberry. And this is a blackberry bush and more lemonade berries. I adore these, ladies and gentlemen. Take time out and get you some fruit bushes. You would not have to go to a store and pay for it. They would be free. But look, see how they're budding? Each one of those would be a berry. I look forward to it. Look at the look at the berries, ladies and gentlemen. Remind you all these little dots gonna be berries. These little tiny dots gonna be budding in if you could see. Those would be berries. I am so absolutely excited. You can see all of those. First you have a pink lemonade berry. This is my raspberry bush. Gave me thousands of thousands of raspberry last year. I do adore it. Many kids came out here and just ate our face off. This is another pink lemonade berry. And this is a blueberry. And then another pink lemonade berry and a blueberry. And I did this to make a fruit fence. Because when I was a kid, my grandmother had a fruit fence. And I wanted one also in my front yard. And I bought this at the nursery. And this is a butterfly plant. And it's going to get real bushy. And these are the roses. Look at them. Everybody's waking up. They're giving me some beautiful roses. Look at this. Oh, the beautiful buds. And I started this from seeds. I want everybody to know each of these red pots of roses started from seed. This is a lemongrass that I bought on sale from a nursery and she's going to wake up and um, I'll have lemongrass. And this is a piece of a, I think it's the lemonade that I stuck in there. So I already see it making new leaves. So this will be my lemonade berry that I stuck in there. And then these three patches, one, two, three, I dug up some, um, elephant ears and I transplanted it so this year I have elephant ears in the front yard right here and absolutely more roses you all can see and this will come back this is pretty it's like a purple uh I like elephant ears uh, I apologize banana leaves like it and this is more roses I look forward to growing and we got more roses over there and we got more stuff on deck and a whole bunch of uh, berries over there that's getting ready to bless us with berries and I got a mango that I didn't cover up I did it a couple times but I took off this is a mango that I put in the ground of course it's not red Georgia red clay this is absolutely soil paid for compost and soil and chicken manure that I bring out of my chicken coop so this will be blessed. But I wanted to show you so you can see what's going on in the front yard. Um, edible garden. You can see the progress of just seeing everything nice and green. You can see what your stuff look like. But I will say <clears throat> I have a peach tree in the backyard that was blessed by seed that I started. And it's about this height right now. And it's took a mix. It's going to be year three. Um, so year three after you started for seed you're going to be able to eat off of it because it started from seed for me so year three I'll be able to eat off of that peach tree that I started from seed and I didn't have to pay 25 or 50 dollars for it just the dollar that I paid for the peach at the farmer's market but I look forward to my peppermint and spearmint waking up and my hibiscus waking up and hope everybody just take time out of their day lady and gentlemen and just try to save some money at the store and plant something, put a seed in the ground, put a plant in the ground, <laughs> put seedlings in the ground, whatever the way. If you don't want to do the seeds and you just want to go ahead and do the, the plants, go for it. The quicker, the better you start, you'll be happy because you'll be able to eat off of your, your blessing, which will be your rewards. And every plant and earth and vegetable will give you a seed when you're able to put that in the ground for next year harvest. But again, my name is Miss B. I'm hypothetically speaking, Gardner. 
I want to wish everybody a wonderful 2024 harvest planning session, growing, saving money, and to eat healthy, eat out of your thing, your own yard, front backyard, and save money this year. Grow your own blackberries. This is a full-fledged blackberry bush. I am going to enjoy. I think last year maybe we got like 10 off of this, and I already see oh, over over 60 berries on here so we've been able to enjoy berries this year and i think i paid like six or ten dollars from this at walmart but i want everybody to be blessed and stay blessed again this is miss v from hypothetically speaking gardener have a fabulous growing season and i look forward to you on the next video be blessed and be safe